The low level lasers that we use in the clinic speed up the healing process and slow down the inflammation, reducing pain. Now, I've explained the mechanisms behind this before. What I want to do now is show you some pictures of how it changes. So this is my son a bit over a year ago when he'd fallen off a climbing frame at school. I did the worried parent thing of going, hoping he's all okay, pick him up. And then on the way home, I thought, ah, I'll get the laser from the clinic. That's gonna help. I'd read some of the research about it. And so I got home and I got laser out Then thought I'll take a picture as well, just to be able to see. I'm really glad I did because you can see the uh, bruising that he had here. Well, I put the laser on for two minutes on the uh, neuroinflammation setting. I was kind of more worried about what's behind the bruise in the brain than the bruise itself. So I zapped that for the two minutes and then he charged around for the next uh, three and a half hours, kind of acting like he wanted to bump his head again. Not a lot of concentration going on. And you could see it had affected him. Six o'clock, took another photo, and here he is in his catboy outfit with much less of a bruise. You can see how much that's gone down in three and a half hours. No cow pole, no ice, no paracetamol, anything like that. So he went to bed. Next morning, well, look at this, flat. Just uh, no real sign of any inflammation there. He just got the sign of the graze. So I was pleased I took these photos because it really shows when we're using this over whichever part of your body we're working on, we're not only doing the good work with the manual therapy, but this is speeding up your repair and it's reducing any pain and inflammation. So uh, with the power of laser, along with the effects of chiropractic, we can get better results.